Good morning, Mr. Night Spider here, and you're watching the Night Spider Collector. Uh, something I wanted to touch down on and talk about today is GameStop. Oh, GameStop, GameStop, GameStop. Now, we all know, for starters, that they literally give you, like, pennies, it feels like, for what you pay for your games, consoles, accessories, anything like that. They will rip you off shamelessly. So that's a given. That's not even new news here. However, <clears throat> on several occasions, um, on my visit there, uh, you go to the store and you will want be interested in the game or whatever the case may be. And you'd say, hey, can you price match this? It is uh, cheaper at Amazon. It is cheaper at Target. It is cheaper at Fry's, blah, 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 wherever you see it cheaper. And the employees look at you like with this like smug attitude. And they're like, we don't do that. We don't price match. And I'm, my response is, why don't you price match? Every major retailer out there price matches their competition. Not to mention online stores like uh, Newegg and Amazon and B&H Photo, yada, 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 yada. Right? And this has happened to me on two occasions. And they say, we just don't do that. It's not. It's against our policy. Um, you know, we feel that we have the lowest prices. We feel that we don't have to match our competitors, blah, 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 blah. And the funny thing is, yes, I, sometimes their prices are lower when it comes to pre-owned uh, games and content and all that stuff. But nine times out of ten, when it comes to brand new titles, they are more expensive. Most of the time, they are more expensive. There are occasions when they're not. Most of the time, they are. So, I got frustrated this last particular visit. And I reached out. I, I filed a complaint with their surveys. I'm like, you know what? The whole, entire industry price matches. Why don't you guys? So, I actually got a response from one of their, uh, I guess, whoever uh, reaches out to uh, customers regarding complaints. And the response basically was, for reasons beyond myself and employees at the store we do not price match we have never price matched and it's just something we have not done and don't plan on doing so i responded and then and then the person asked me which game i wanted and then i responded basically saying thank you for contacting me um this is the game that i want um, it was cheaper somewhere else. I'm just going to keep it at that. And that, um, why wouldn't you price match? It is industry standard. Everyone else does it. You know, it's a normal thing now. Like, every retailer does it. And <clears throat> the response I got back was, well, let me know if you want to buy it. Um, I'll make a, a an exception for you because you are a valued, because I'm a pro member, you are a valued, uh, you have a member in our uh, company, you are a, you're a valued customer, and we'll do it for you this one time. Just keep in mind, this is not something we do ever or regularly. And I was kind of like, okay, that kind of, I mean, I, I, I appreciate that, I guess, the, the follow through, but I found it a little peculiar that they'd have to point out that I'm only, so you'd only do it if you get a complaint and you have to be a pro member status, which you pay for yearly. So um, that kind of left a bad taste in their mouth. I'm kind of like, you guys are like so snobby and like smug about your company. You think you're like the only game in town. Like so many places now, Walmart, Target, Fry's, Best Buy are selling pre-owned games and hardware. Like... Oh, this though. I think the only people driving your business are the kids that drag their parents in there right now. So I don't get on your high horse, GameStop. You guys need to get in line with the industry standard, or you know what? Everyone else is just gonna get tired of your crap, tired of you lowballing them for the the games, hardware, and accessories they sell you, and not matching lower prices. Because when you go out. Uh, when you're buying, when you're spending a harder money on a game, people want to get the lowest price possible. And if you don't offer that or a way to offer that, they're either going to go someplace else to someone that does or get it from that other place. So share your guys' experience with GameStop. What is your take on how they do business? 
Leave it in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching the Night Sprider Collector. Have a good one. Peace. And subscribe. Also subscribe. Take care. Have a good day, guys.